Hey, my fucking dad treats me like shit. Everybody today was just harassing me for no reason. Literally. Literally went outside. I, I literally left my room. Get some freaking pot pie. And the next thing you notice, they both just gang up on me. Like I did something wrong. If my dad ever watches this video, fuck you. Try me. Fucking try me. I will fight my fucking dad until the cops come. I don't fuck around no more. I've had enough of this disrespect. No respect coming for from no respect from him. Zero. If he punches me, I'll punch him. If he gets in my face, I'll get in his face. If he pushes me, I'll push him. And if he wants to go 101, I'll go 101. I got this fucking thing. A machete, several knives, a BB gun. I also got this big heavy duty baseball bat. I'm not afraid. I, I, I'm literally scared of him. That's why I fight him, cause I, cause I'm scared of him. He's been abusing me my whole life. That I frequently, I'll do the first thing that comes in mind, and that is to defend myself. Cause when he does this, cause when he does this parent shit to me, I see it as a threat, like I'm in danger, and I attempt to defend myself. But this, this was not necessary. This was just fucking disrespectful. That was just not called for. That was just rude. Freaking rude. I did nothing. I just went out there, got some fucking food, and I get harassed. By my own freaking parents. Welcome to the hood, guys. It's, go it's spreading everywhere. And then my mom started talking shit to me. So I grabbed my food and my water. I'll come in my room. What's the next thing he does? As soon as I leave the kitchen, my dad comes in and he pushes me up against the wall as I'm walking away. And then I turn around and I push him and then my mom gets in between, between me and my dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Now if you guys were me, if you guys understand what my childhood was, if you guys saw my childhood, you would understand why I'm like this. But yeah, I'm fucking done. It was just a simple day. I can never have a peaceful day without either getting harassed or getting teased. Or getting yelled at, for that case. Yelled at or being blamed for shit I didn't do, like... Whenever I wash my hands, my dad will be, Tanner, clean the fucking sink. Dude, you clean your sink. You're always making a mess when you wash your hands and you never clean it. Well, maybe sometimes it's kind of my fault for making the seat dirty. That's my fault, too. I remember one time Let's see here. I think my dad we got in like some argument or something and I said like or he was calling or no he called me I think and we were just arguing and I said like 
F you or I gave him the finger and then or I said like F you or something like that and when he came home he bursts into my room takes my phone breaks it and then he sits on me literally sits on me full body on me and starts slapping me to fucking death I was I was like oh shit I'm about to die So then eventually he gets up and I'm crying to freaking death. And then he goes in there and then I'm over here like I grab my bat or something because I had like a oh because I had like a bob wire bat. So I grabbed it. And when my mom came in, I told her what happened. And then this phone here was my spare, it was my backup. So I had this phone. Literally on emergency call. I was about to call 911 on him. Like, I was literally scared for life. I thought I was going to die or something. And he and he, he, he honestly didn't care. And mom comes in. Mom comes in and is like, Dad, look, Dad. You you can't fucking do that. That's against the law. You can't smack your kids like that. That's against the law. And he was, like, laughing like he thinks it was funny. Like, it's like, it, like, it's, like, like it was a whole, like, freaking joke. But, yeah. And you probably, I don't know if you guys remember, but I actually had a channel before this one. And it was on that old phone. That one. But that one's broken because of him. It was working. And then while we were fighting, it flew across the room, like somewhere over here, and it broke. And it won't charge no more. So then I lost... So then I lost that channel, and then I got this one, and then I made the channel on this one. I need like a GoPro or like a body cam that I keep me, that that I keep that I keep on me at all times. That'd be neat, like a like a hidden body cam somewhere, where like every day when I leave my room out, it'll be recording, and I'll just record, and then that way if we get. That way, if something like this happens again, I'll have it on camera, and I'll catch his actions, but... Yeah. I literally did nothing wrong. None of it was my fault. He just straight, straight up, up abused me, and harassed me. Straight up harassed. Can you imagine? If you were just in your room, playing games... You know, texting your friend, you know, blah, 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 maybe reading a book. And then you come home, and then your dad comes in, and he just starts beating you up for no reason. That's child abuse. And what just happened here, just now, it was not necessary. He didn't need to do that. None of them. Not even my mom was also involved, too. She didn't need to do that. That was not necessary. That is just straight up abuse out of nowhere. So then I came in here, I locked my bedroom door, set my food down, set, set, the, set, set my stuff down, and then I was freaking out. I was shaking. I was like, you know, that's it. So I take my freaking saw bladed baseball bat, go out there, show him. I literally went out there in the kitchen. I put it up like this, and I showed him my freaking bat. And my mom came in and was like, and, and then he's like, oh, where, where, when did you make that? It's like he thinks that this freaking, he thinks that it's, it was like, when did you make that? It's like he thinks it's all a joke. Like it's some kind of prank or something. He thinks harassing me and abusing me is some like some kind of joke. He thinks it's funny. It ain't funny. If you if you felt my feelings, you would understand why I was standing up. Because I was scared. I don't trust him. 
That's all he has been doing. That's all he does is harass and abuse and disrespect. But this was not necessary. None of this was necessary. Fucking cunt. Fucking cocksucker. And my dad thinks it's me. Like, I'm the problem. Like, I started it. Like, oh, Tanner, you better fucking stop, or you're gonna get yourself in a lot of fucking trouble. Oh, yeah, sure, whatever. I didn't create the, tr I didn't create this trouble. I didn't start this. You did. You were talking bad to me. Yeah. It literally just happened just now. Literally. It's as soon as, as soon as, as soon as I showed my dad my, as soon as I went out there and showed him the bat, I came back in, set it down, locked the door, punched the wall, went back out, threw my stuff away, came back in, pressed the record button. And now, this is now. So it just happened, like a couple minutes ago. Or in this case, 11 or 12, 13, 15 minutes ago. It, it, it was literally like maybe 10 seconds ago, like 20. But yeah. Straight up abuses me for no freaking reason. To be honest, now I'm on edge. Now I'm, now I'm on like notice or something. I'm triggered now. So later this afternoon, if he starts to do something to me, or if he starts to make another move, I'm already triggered. See, I'm already triggered. Oh, I'm already triggered. So later today, so later today, when he comes home, and he talks to me, or if he starts to do something to me, or if he starts irritating me again, I'm already going to be triggered. Because it takes a while to calm me down. It takes maybe... 20 hours just to get me to calm down. Like, I'm triggered. Like, more than triggered. Top of the line. Past the line. I'm completely triggered. So he better not do any... So, and he thinks my actions towards him is stupid. But what about you, you stupid old man? What about your actions towards me? It's pretty stupid, too. We can get ourselves both in jail. Me for attacking you, and you for abusing me. Yep. Yeah. Now, this, this has been going on forever. Ever since I joined this shitty family, this has been happening. I literally, I'm literally like, I want to move to my cousins, my freaking cousins. They're out in the country. I kind of want to move to them. I want to go live with them because this is ridiculous. This was literally not necessary. He did it. They didn't need to do this. It was like unnecessary. No, there is. I can literally pack up my four-wheeler. And my tent, and some covers, and my bat, and my BB gun, and just dip. And just get out of here. There's a bridge not too far from here I can go live under. And I got, and I have some freaking cash. I got like a little tank I can, a little gas jug I can fill up and keep in the back. I got me some money, so if I need to fill up, I can fill up. I kind of need to go for a ride now, just to get just to get away, you know. Now, if you guys are ever in the situation, and if you're still triggered after like five o'clock, or if like, 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 like if you're like, like, if, like, if, like if your dad starts to fight you at like twelve. And you're still triggered at four o'clock, then you should just get out of the house. Just go somewhere. 
just hop on your four-wheeler, hop on the four-wheeler, you know, or your dirt bike or your bicycle and just go for a cruise. Go to the lake and go fishing maybe, just, you know, just step away. So if your parents ever do this to you, if your parents ever do this to you, and if you're still triggered or still mad, just hop on your bicycle and just get away. Just run away for a little while. Go for a cruise. Go to the lake. Go fishing. Maybe go exploring. Just step away, and when you come back, you should be all nice and calm. And that's the best way to calm yourself down if you're triggered. Just go for a ride. Hop on your bicycle or a dirt bike. Go off-roading. Go ride in the trail. You know, just, just, just step away. I would. I do. I kind of need. I kind of do need to go for a ride. But I can't right now. The weather is like terrible. It, it's well, it's 80 degrees, but the wind is like 25 miles per hour. So she just. But yeah, if you're mad, it's, see, if you like, yeah, if you're dead, so if you get in a fight, if you get in a fight with your dad, just go for a ride. Just take your bicycle, go for a stroll. You'll feel much better afterwards. You just gotta get away. Because the reason why is because if you're, because if you and your dad get in an argument, or in this case, a fight. All that anger is trapped in that house. So if you stay, it's just going to, you know. So if you get out of the house and go for, I don't know, go hiking or something. Or just walk. You know, just, just walk around the neighborhood. You'll get away from that anger and stress. And you'll be much more calmer. But I should literally, like, dip. I should just, just go for a ride and just chill. Just ride around the neighborhood and just cool off. Maybe go to maybe go to like to fast stop and get some ice cream or something, or if I even have any. Or take a fishing pole and just go to the lake real quick and just go fishing. I should just go fishing. Just quickly go there and come right back, or get, just go around the neighborhood. Right around the neighborhood. Uh, I mean, I would take my bike, but my bike is like a piece of junk. It has like two flat tires. Both tires are flat. One of the tires is like bent. It's mainly because I'm too heavy. I got too big. I'm too fat. I've got too much weight. down below if you guys have been in the family fight and just share it just let me know if you guys had an, a, just just let me in the comments down below if you had a fight with your dad before and just basically let me know if you guys have ever been in a family fight and just share it get it out See, I'm much better now because I'm much, see, I'm much calmer now because I'm letting it all out. I'm actually explaining it to you what happened. It's kind of like this. It's kind of like if you have anger issues and you, and you go get counseling. And after the, after counseling, you feel better. That's kind of what this is. That's kind of what I'm doing. I'm, I'm telling, I'm recording this or I'm recording the aftermatch or what, or I'm, 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 I'm recording on what happened and this is kind of like counseling just just by talking to the camera and just making a video about the fight it's actually you know it's kind of like my it's kind of like my personal counseling like a home, homemade counseling basically and you know how crazy you know like how it's it's not me it's the controller the controller's messed up Usually, usually I gotta 
to get it to stop. But yeah. So yeah, if, so if you so if you got in a fight with your dad and if you're still pissed, just record it. Just after the fighting's done, just turn on your camera. Just just grab your phone, turn on the camera, and just explain what happened, and you'll feel much better. It's kind of like counseling, I guess you can say, just by talking to the camera. But now, whoever watches this video, you guys will know what happened. I was really pissed. I was really pissed and angry at the start of the video, and now I'm really calm. But I'm still triggered. I'm still on edge. And when he comes home later this afternoon, and if he pushes me, if he pushes me a little bit more, or if he... What the freak? It was actually the first time I've ever encountered these things. They pee on me? Are they puking? They're puking. Well, that was the first time I've ever encountered those things. So I'm guessing it. So I'm guessing, like, depending on what location you're on, that's the that's what you're gonna get. Those are the enemies you're gonna find. So since I'm over here on this left side of the map, where it's more. We might be able to find Siren Head over murky, murky water construction site. You know, it's really swampy down there. So there's probably a better chance that we might find him. You know, you can get through that front door. Literally. Just get yourself a whole bunch of landmines. Or explosives and just blow the door. There's no need to go around. You can just blow up the entrance. Oh, I didn't make. I didn't make Brotherhood steal hostile. I should have did that. I better have like a clean inventory. Cause there's gonna be a lot of junk collecting. I'm guaranteed to have. Yeah, I'm using my ten. My ten mm meter, just because I got a lot of ammo for it, and I just need to get rid of some of it. Oh gosh, what the fuck? Dude! He's literally nearby. I might actually find him for the first time. That's the audio playing. He's nearby. Oh shit. Okay, okay, well. I literally heard that. I was like, dude, what's that sound? heard it. It was literally nearby. Fucking shit me. So it was right here and I heard it. You guys have to turn up your volume. Wait, what? Is my, is my phone seriously at 20%? Hey dude, I heard it. It was nearby. Well I, well, I heard some. I wonder if it, I wonder if it went like that way. Ooh, I'm nervous now. Just close the door. Close the door. Okay, okay, okay. I can't close the door. Okay. 
this way. Shit, there it is, there it is. I'm getting, I'm getting out of it. I'm getting really pumped. That's him! He's nearby. Oh shit. Oh! I literally found him. He's over there. Behind that truck. Shit. Oh, shit. Yo, freaking terrifying. I'm a nuke. way Awesome. I found him for the first time. That was cool. Alright, I'm gonna end it right here.